How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Gav aka Batek and today we're not going to be playing with the RX-7 We're going to be putting some brakes on the little Daihatsu Myra. So let's get on crack on and get these things changed out The disc brakes on the Daihatsu Myra are not like normal disc brakes. They're actually bolted onto the hub so to save you guys skipping through the channel and try to find out what part numbers and stuff I was using for this one If you've got something similar, I'm using Mintex stuff So this is the Mintex pads which is NDB1857 I don't know why I'm saying it, you can watch it and see And uh, these are the discs And this number here is the pistons and yep, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling the calipers completely apart and we're going to be putting new seals in, new pistons in, the full works. So you can't get any more in depth of this when it comes to replacing caliper stuff and brakes and stuff like that. So anyway, let's get this thing in the garage and uh, crack on. So yeah, let's get into it. So obviously these are going to be a set of 19 mils. Uh, these wheels are actually from a Fiesta, Fiesta Super Sport, I think they're called. Um, you can like a Ford Fiesta, I should say. Um, so I need to paint them up. I need to paint them up nice. I'll give them a polished lip and, uh, over there. But uh, yeah. So first things first, jack up the car and uh, take off the wheel. This is the style of discs that I'm talking about, where this pieces here are actually all bolted on uh, to the disc. Different, eh? So, uh, yeah. First things first, is I'm going to crack off this bolt here, which will be tight as hell, no doubt, and then uh, take off these. In fact, I don't think I'll do that yet. I'll pull off the caliper and everything first, and then I'll attack these. So, firstly, before you take off the caliper, save you playing around because we are actually taking these calipers off and putting the pistons on. Uh, here is the fitting that goes to the caliper. So I'm gonna, I've got that loose. Hopefully yours was as loose as mine, because they're not normally. And uh, what I'm gonna use is a clamp to clamp up the brake line to stop it. Leaking. So here's a clamp I've got in here, just to clamp it onto that line and all the nose I'll crack off these. So these are like the caliper carrier bolts and they are 14 mils. Well mine's are, yours should be the same. So we'll whiz these guys out and uh, by that time if we get a, a, a screwdriver, wedge in here, we should be able to lift this off. As you can see here, packed full of grease. Um, that's because you just won't have seen it, but my seal basically died and these seized up. This is why I'm replacing them. So uh, I just uh, took it down, cleaned up the piston a little bit, and uh, you know, so it would last a little bit longer until I got the parts to fix it. So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll just spin this off and the caliper should fall off. Let's see if I can hold this here for you so you can see. <laughs> Just like that. So first in off. And here we've got our pads, which we'll take a little pry bar too. You don't need to use a pry bar, you could use like a screwdriver or something like that. Um, they're not normally too tight in there, so that's one. Is this one a bit tighter? Yeah, it's a little bit tighter, but not too bad. There we go. Before you go any further, just make sure these pads are actually the same as what you've got. And as you can see, they are, so they're quite they're a funny shape. Um, not the usual. So now what I'm gonna do is if you look at the back of here, 
you're going to see two bolts, one here and one here. I'm going to whiz them off and uh, then that takes off the caliper carrier. And uh, what you can do is turn the wheel a little bit so it gives you a little bit more access. So these bolts here that hold this caliper carrier on are 17 mils. Um, this one here I'm having to use good old spanner, ratchet spanner, I know. A lot of older guys have been looking at this thinking, back in my day, we didn't have ratchet spanners. And I feel for you because they make life a lot easier. So uh, yeah, these are fairly chunky actually for the thread in them, but they're 17 mil anyway. So that's them off, this should come off now. Nice and easy. So we'll give that a wee bit of a clean up. And uh, now, yeah, nothing else holding it on. So we just need to turn this around a little bit. and uh, pull off this one here uh, for the hub and uh, yeah, when you pull that off the full lot should come out so yeah this bolt here I'm using inch and a quarter which I think is 32 or 34 mil and uh, this big gun's an absolute beast and this now should pull off look at that so you just love it when things actually happen as they should. So, as you can see there, I've got rusty bolts in the back. What we'll do is we'll stick it up on my messy bench. Up here. And we'll just give these a bit of a soak. WD-40. Then, what I'm going to do is I've got to chuck it in the vise. Yeah. Right, so now. Just like that. There you go, just like that. Ugh. So you can see the ceiling face on here. I'll give that a bit of a clean up with uh, a little bit of scotch bright. When I say scotch bright, it's just this stuff here. And I'll just go down and clean that all up. And uh, yeah, it's all ready, ready for reassembly of the new discs. So uh, let's pull these out actually to make sure these are actually the right ones. Oh yes, would you look at that. So they are the right ones. And as you can see, because it bolts in there, that's not usual for disc brakes. So um, this stuff here, though, it's come with a protective oil coating. So you will need to clean all that off. Uh, just with brake cleaner, something like that. Alcohol, like some vodka or whiskey if you're Scottish. Um, just to kind of clean off that oil or a degreaser of some sort. Um, so now I'm going to stick this in the vise. I'm going to clean up this piece here. We're going to stick it on and we're going to fire these bolts back in again. So yeah, I've uh, cleaned up this inner face here. Yeah, it's in there. Give it a good clean up. And now that fits on there nice and easy. It's moving side to side, but there's no up and down play. Don't worry about that. Um, as for torque settings for these, to be honest, I don't know where I would even find such a thing. Um, but I will be just putting them in by hand. Tear them up a little bit with the Ugga Dugga gun and uh, I'll probably just torque them up to sp spanner tight. Like just as tight as I would go with that size of bolt by hand. I mean the Ugga Dugga gun, that really does like lamp them up tight. However, I still prefer to do like this sort of stuff. I wouldn't just leave it like that, you know. Uh, so I'll do the rest up by hand. So, discs now on. I cleaned it off actually with some petrol because uh, I couldn't find my squishy ball. So, petrol works fine as well. Um, what I've done here is I've pulled off the little clip just one at a time, I'm doing just so I don't lose them all. And uh, basically, going in here and cleaning up these ways. These ways hold on to the pad. So, if they're a little bit too much rust on them, they bind up and they stop the pad moving, which then causes your brakes to drag. So there we go, pads are on, carriers on. Now I need to work on this side. So this here, there's a couple of ways you could do it, get piston out, uh, as you can see it. That's one way, go the way, it's a, it's the welder. And uh, yeah, that's one way. But if you're finding you can't get that out and it's stuck, what you can do is you can stall back on the car and uh, just basically hit the pedal and keep pressing it till that pushes out because the hydraulics, the pressure from your foot on the brakes is a lot more than what you can get from a compressor. Also, if you've not got either of them, you could use like a pair of grips and wiggle it back and forward and eventually 
like, I, eventually um, it'll come come out. So as you can see, uh, this here is obviously where the piston sits, and in here this is the seal. So these seals are like square. Um, I have actually already had mine out a while back when I was cleaning these up, just trying to make it last a little bit longer. So um, obviously compare the new one to the old one and stuff, make sure it's the right size. It should be, I mean the piston size is 51 millimeters, which is uh, quite standard size for a lot of these Daihatsus for some reason. Um, I think the charade and the cure, core, cure or whatever it is, uh, are the same. So, um, and here's the new piston. So, put this in. Just put it in without the seal, just to make sure that it does move in there freely. So yes, we know this one is going to work. Um, and uh, yeah, this is another thing we'll need to play with here as well. Is the environmental seal, and uh, that comes with one of these clips. So. Um, what I'll do first is I'll get a drill or a bit of scotch bright and I'll clean up all these areas, get rid of all the sort of, um, you know, inside here, see this is a part of the old seal, stuff like that. You dig all that out and uh, I have the old environmental seal and uh, what else, I'll need to clean in here and clean this edge here uh, as well. And that edge is a typical for binding on cars, you can find that, you know, you change your pads or you've you've done your sliders, everything's fine. Um, however, the piston itself, can, like sometimes you get aluminium carriers and this piece here swells and then binds and grips onto the piston. So uh, when it is pushed forward against the disc, it doesn't retrieve fast enough. Uh, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll pull this all out and give it a, a bit of a clean up and install the new kit. <clears throat> so there we go. All in nice new seals, fitting nicely. Um, bit of a chew to do it your very first time, but um, you'll soon get there, it's not too bad. So yeah, this was done, just need to fit that back in the car again, and then uh, put on the brake line. And of course, while you've got these off, you, you have to paint your calipers red. You have to. You, you can't fit them without doing it. So uh, yeah, what I'll do is, uh, the reason I'm not painting them just now is because I'm going to be handling them, putting them all on, and getting fittings and stuff like that on it, and then you end up just scoring them. So uh, I'll probably, what I'll do, is I will fit them back up again, I will bleed the brakes, uh, give it a cleaning brake cleaner and then uh, yeah, paint them red and then that'll be this side done. One last thing though obviously before we stick these back on is give these a clean up as well with like a wire brush or with scotch brite and then I just use some red rubber grease to put in there just to help them slide around. Yep so uh, at the stage we're bleeding the brakes, obviously take the cap off the reservoir and fill it up to near the top. Uh, this here I've made this is just like a little bottle of juice with a silicon pipe that goes right to the bottom. And then the other side goes on to the brake nipple that I've cracked off. And basically the air and fluid comes on here and when it drops down the air bubbles come back up again. Um, that way if it does want to suck anything back in, it sucks in fluid. Um, it's just a one man sort of job. This, some people will refuse to do it with one person, but I haven't done it like this for years. And I don't know if you can see the bubbles there. I'll just keep going until I see no more air bubbles coming out. Right, so, we pump it away at that. The air bubbles have stopped. The fluid level has gone down and uh, now I just snip this up. Mine is 8mm, however some you might find um, on older cars will be like totally screwed. So you might need to use some uh, of them, little vice grips. So yeah, give it a clean down now, give it a bit of a wire brush and then I'm going to go on to paint the caliper. <laughs> Race car. <laughs> oh yes, if you're going to paint your calipers, it has to be red, I mean come on guys, red is the fastest colour, which is a bit kind of strange because brakes obviously slow you down, but you know, this will give me around about 5, 10, 15 horsepower, yes, look at this. Oh. <laughs> so there we have it guys, nice red caliper, 
all the speed. Um, I just need to fire on the wheel and that's the side done. So I'm not going to bore you with the other side. The other side is exactly the same as this. Not too bad, eh? Um, so like I say, I'm a DIY guy. I'm not a mechanic or anything like that. I just like to get stuck in and do these bits and bobs. So if you think these videos were any use for you and your uh, Daihatsu Myra Turbo Awesome JDM Beast, give a thumbs up or uh, give a wee comment below and think about having a little subscribe to see more of this. Anyway guys, you guys stay safe and uh, we'll catch you in the next vid. Cheers.